Hello friends, Andrew here at SHOT 2022 with Adam from Century and you got some wild stuff for us today. What is this bling? You know, this is what's been the, the culmination of a lot of work and let's be honest, what people have been begging us to bring into the United States for about a year ever since Europe decided to kind of put the cat out of the bag a little early by leasing the Canic Rival. Well now we're proud to say not only do we have the Canic Rival in the United States, but we're also offering the Canic Rival Dark Side, which is the same setup with a couple little differences, obviously in an all black configuration. So it's here, uh, it's ready for sale, uh, it's out there, we're doing some really fun stuff with people like you guys to kind of uh, deliver the message and the message of this is, is you can go out there, you can compete, you can, uh, you can win, and you don't have to break the bank to do that. Obviously, there's a lot of great firearms of course, out there. All I have to do is buy the pistol, and that will automatically make me an accomplished competition shooter. Is this where the disclaimer pops up at the bottom <laughs> of the screen and says, you know, not all results are guaranteed for success? Yeah. Well, what we can say is our gun is going to do everything it needs to do to help you win. Um, you, however, I've seen you shoot. It's we got a lot more work to do. Uh, we'll bring in our competitive shooter. We're gonna we're gonna get you some therapy. We're gonna pray to Jesus, and hopefully at some point you'll you'll do something. Yeah. I've been shooting your Canic Mete um, SFX and SFT. Uh, we've got a review in the can and ready to publish for it eventually, if if my boss ever allows it. <laughs> but I enjoyed I enjoyed shooting them a lot. Yeah. They are. A fantastic pistol for the price. They're a fantastic pistol, really, at a higher price. Honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Like one of the things I was, as I was writing up the the review, I kept going, "Yeah, it's great for the price." And I, and I stopped and I thought, you know what? It's it's actually a really good pistol at a price more competitive with other pistols in that polymer striker fire right, range. Right, right. You know. Um, so I had to stop my, I had to, I had to kind of step back from, it's not just a great pistol for the price, it's a great pistol, period. Well, gone are the days of you have to pay a lot to get something good, you know what I mean? And that's one of the things that Canik has really worked to change is, yeah, it might have an aggressive price point, but that doesn't have anything to do with the actual quality of the platform. The platform can be an amazing platform and through engineering and volume, you can have it at a price that everybody wins on. Obviously, we've still got to make some money in order to operate a business, yeah. but that, I mean, that, that, that price point can be passed on to the end user, so they're getting something that's reliable, it's, it's fun to shoot, it's a quality product that you can feel as soon as you grip the, the, the platform, all at a price that people can know. You don't have to break the bank nowadays to, to have something that you can be proud of. So, is the Rival part of the Mete line? So, the Rival is a hybrid all in its own. So, okay. that's why it's not. It, it comes with a lot of the features that we've so now brought. Different? Yeah, absolutely. So, it comes with a lot of the features that the Mete has with, you know, the modular setup, the integrally flared magwell, some things like that. But we really wanted to step it up and say, all right, well, what can we do with this unit that people wanted? So, you've got obviously right out the gate the aesthetics of it. So, you've got that ported slide. You can see there's texturing on the barrel, some aggressive texturing on the barrel. So that's the Mete, obviously. Then you've got you've got an aluminum, an aluminum magwell that comes with it. All of the things right here is standard. You got the option to put an optic. Uh, if you don't want the optic, you've got adjustable sights, fiber optic front sights with different colors that all come in the package. So this one's got the red in there. There's also a green option. You've got a 90 degree aluminum trigger, light and trigger, that comes standard with it, the obviously, yeah, comes with two 18 round mags, comes with a uh, competition speed holster, it comes with three back straps, uh, three different mag release sizes, ambidextrous slide release, everything that you'd expect with a Canic, and then you're adding the things like the mag, the slide, uh, ready for a competition gun, obviously our competitor, the competitors that are around $1,000 to $1,500 guns, this comes in with an MSRP of $679. Nice. So, you know, something that you're going to see it probably, it's mapped at 629, you're going to see it somewhere in there. Um, so, all these features, I mean, an, an aftermarket trigger alone is 200 bucks traditionally, you know. Uh, aluminum, plus zero aluminum base plates for the mags for that drop are going to come out, you know, 20, 30 bucks. Yep. This is all coming with the gun at 679. And the cool thing about it, with being the rival, is it actually has the ability to compete in all of the different classes, USPSA, IDPA, out the gate. It'll fit in all the boxes. So we're giving you that chance, literally, literally yeah. In the um, it'll, it gives you the chance to out the gate, have something that you can be proud of, that's gonna give you all the competitive advantages that come with a good pistol without, like I said, having to go out there and drop $2,000 to be, be in when, the race. When will it start shipping? 
So they're actually shipped, they shipped last week. So they're gonna be available. They're gonna be available for sale this week. You're gonna see them on online retailers and they should be in brick and mortar stores within the next couple weeks. Awesome. Yeah. So we've got this Kalashnikov sort of thingy here. Uh, what, what sets this apart from other AKs that you guys have imported and that other companies have? So, you know, obviously Century Arms has been synonymous with importing AKs for a long time. We've had the Wasser, the Draco, and a number of different things, and we're not going to go away from that. But we know, obviously, with current political environments and, and you know, supply and demand that we're going to have to take, continue to take our destiny into our own hand with the American-made AK. Um, Century Arms has been developing that process for many years, and the Visca was the next step for that. This is the BFT-47. So there's a couple things that are different about it. You don't want to reinvent the wheel, but there's a couple things that the American consumer has been demanding for a couple years, and we wanted to provide that. So first thing is aesthetics you've, uh, and, and basics, bayonet lug and cleaning rod. Everybody wants it, let's be honest. 90% of people will never even pull the cleaning rod out, but if you want it, you have it. You have an optics rail that comes standard on the core. You have a, a larger paddle for that mag release. You have an enhanced safety select. So the enhanced safety select, you'll notice, gives you that little ability. So, you know, that's the thing on an AK, everybody knows. But now you can just with a finger, up and down, you got that, you got the rear bolt hold open if you want it. Some people love it, some people hate it. Don't use it if you don't like it, but it's there, it's an additional feature. And then finally, the biggest thing, is the BFT stands for Bulged Forged Trunnion. Oh. So, so you're sitting on a bulge. I thought, that, I thought it was for something different. <sighs> it's, it's weird that your videos <laughs> never get published, you know? So, but Bulged Forged Trunnion, um, you know, there's that argument, which is better, forged, bulge. Perfect. Yeah, so that's why you're seeing that bulge there on a 1.5 millimeter re stamp receiver. Um, the, the death of a lot of AKs is the brass ammo. You know that, we know that. Obviously, steel cased ammo is what it was designed to shoot but especially on ranges and things like that, they're demanding brass. Brass eats trunnions alive. So we, when we tested the bulge for trunnion, we actually ran it with 10,000 rounds of steel and 10,000 rounds of brass and saw zero deformation on our bulge for trunnion. The forge is the key, the bulging is the key. We actually, the Bulging is the key. I, I gotta take this, hold on, hello? <laughs> hello, yeah, Jesus. Um, so. I did the same thing. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's my first day, you know. <laughs> But what we saw with it is obviously the only time we could see failure, in that, we took it and put it on a, you know, a compressor to see how pounds per square inch, what it was actually, the PSI that caused it to fail was 17,000 PSI. So and what it does was, that compare to chamber pressure? On, I mean, like, it's 15 times higher, that. exactly, yeah, yeah. And we, we didn't see any deformation on the trunnion, even at that, it actually sheared the lugs off the side of the bolt. Wow. That's where we saw failure. Because obviously that's a, you know, a more compromised position in terms of the, the, you know, it's not a block of steel. That's, all, that's where all the force is. Exactly, so yeah. we've been very excited about it. We're out there, you know, it was, if you're gonna come out with a new iteration, the Viscas run great for us. If we were gonna do something next, we wanted to make sure that we answered the questions of what the consumer wanted. The bayonet leg cleaning rod, enhanced safety selector, optics mount, and a bulge for trunnion. We're excited to bring it to the market. And it's gonna be available in a couple weeks out in the brick and mortar, same as the Canic Rival, uh, for the MSRP of $829. $829? Yeah. Available in a couple of weeks. Yep. One more question. Does it take lock mags? Well, so with that, it, it, it takes them, um, and then they just kind of rattle around and don't really get much done. <laughs> but yeah, sure. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Adam. Always good to see you, brother. Always a pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. I love you.